Today, we'll be solving leak code 73. Set matrix zeros. First we check if the matrix is empty or if the matrix has no columns, if either is true, we simply return because there is nothing to do. Next we set rows to the length of matrix and calls to the length of matrix at zero index, so we always know our dimensions. Then we create two booleans named first underscore row underscore zero and first underscore call underscore zero and set them to false to start. Next we check if the first row originally contains any zero. We do that by looping through every column index j from 0 up to calls minus 1, and for each column we check if the element at row 0 and column j is equal to 0. If we find such an element, we set first underscore row underscore 0 to true and stop that loop. Similarly, we check if the first column originally contains any 0 by looping through every row index i from 0 up to rows minus 1, and if any element at row i and column 0 equals 0 we set first underscore call underscore 0 to true and stop that loop. These two checks preserve the original state of the first row and first column before we overwrite them with marker information. After that we mark rows and columns using the rest of the matrix. We loop i from 1 up to rows minus 1 and for each i we loop j from 1 up to calls minus 1. For each cell at row i and column j, if that cell is equal to 0 then we set the cell at row i and column 0 equal to 0 and we set the cell at row 0 and column j equal to 0. In plain terms, if a cell in the body of the matrix is zero then we write zeros into the first cell of its row and into the first cell of its column, and those become our markers. Once marking is complete, we use the first column markers to zero out rows. We loop i from 1 up to rows minus 1 and if the cell at row i in column 0 equals 0, then we loop j from 1 up to calls minus 1 and set each cell at row i in column j to 0. That zeroes all the interior of that row because the marker told us this whole row must be zero. Then we use the first row markers in the same way, we loop j from 1 up to calls minus 1 and if the cell at row 0 and column j equals 0, then we loop i from 1 up to rows minus 1 and set each cell at row i and column j to 0. That zeroes columns based on marker information. Finally we apply the flags we saved at the beginning. If first underscore row underscore 0 is true then we loop j from 0 up to calls minus 1 and set every element at row 0 and column j to 0. If first underscore call underscore zero is true then we loop i from zero up to rows minus one and set every element at row i in column zero to zero. That finishes the in-place transformation.